What if you had something worth holding on to? Something you spent years saving to buy. A place for your family. A place you call home. And then something came along and took it all away. What would you do? We know just how much your home means to you, which is why we're here to help you in the aftermath of life's storms and make it like it was before. Sunshine Insurance, here to protect, here to make it right. Happy Fools, Happy Fools, two for two, two for two. Happy Fools, two for two, food galore just for you. Happy Fools, two for two, food galore just for you. This ain't no talking show, it's an eating show. Sasha Laurel is the host of Happy Fools, two for two, food galore just for you. Happy Fools, two for two, food galore just for you. Happy Foods, two for two, food galore just for you. Hey everyone, it's your girl Sasha Laurel and welcome to another exciting episode of Happy Foods 2 for 2. And guess what guys, we are in Freeport. We were in Freeport last season, we're in Freeport again this season. We're hanging out at Agave today, so come on in, let's go talk to Noah. So we're here with Noel Clark, he's the owner of Agave, and Noel, just tell us a little bit about what is Agave? Uh, Agave is a Caribbean Latin fusion restaurant. Uh, we opened our doors uh, just over 10 years ago in the Grand Bahama in Port Lakaia mm -hmm. Marketplace. It's um, a blend of Caribbean flavors, Mexican, Cuban, and other Latin dishes that, that, um, that my wife and the chef come up with to, to, you know, to, to serve to the palates of our customers. Now, I know that this is one of the places to come. I've been here in the nighttime. I've seen the crowd. Um, tell us a little bit about some of the things you do. I think there's a Chinese night now. There's a couple of other themed nights. Tell us a little bit about some of the things you do here. Okay, so first off, we do, uh, you know, it's, our model is to keep the prices as low as possible. Mm -hmm. And, we, and we, we work on volume. So, uh, you know, we're, our, we have twice a day happy hours, 11 to 2 and also 4 to 7. Oh, so that I way, that. And that's on martinis, margaritas, and mojitos. Okay. And uh, so that, you know, that's, that's and giving... And that's every day? Every day, seven days a week, oh. 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay. and 4 p.m. to 7. Okay. Uh, every Tuesday, we have $2 Tuesday, $2 margaritas, and $2 tacos. I so, remember that. Yeah, so that's... And then... Um, my wife and chef came up with an idea to do uh, Chinese Wednesdays. So mm -hmm. I don't know where else you go to get a Latin restaurant <laughs> and you get Chinese food, but um, our chef, um, Chef Denzel, he used to be a uh, sous chef at P.F. Chang, so mm -hmm. his Chinese food is remarkable. So we, you know, people were asking us for something different, and now we're giving them something different. Okay, so give us a rundown just in terms of the days you open. Obviously, you said you're open every day. Seven days a week, 11 a.m., um, till uh, weekdays we're open till 10:30, and then weekends until midnight. Okay, and give us a, the you already gave us the times. So give us a number. If I have a party of 10. Well, um, yeah, we uh, we take bookings on 374-4887, um, and then you can book. We have a private dining room as well as just regular reservations. Mm -hmm. The private dining room holds about 26 people. Okay. So. And so I would call that number if I want to do a private event. Right. Do you guys do private catering as well or just strictly? Yes, yeah, we do. We have done catering in the past. Um, it's, you know, generally it, it'll be larger events that we've done. Um, but, you know, we're open to anything. It's and how, how have you find it being here? You've been here in Freeport for over 10 years. How, how has that been? Uh, you know, Freeport has its challenges. Um, you know, uh, Grand, with the Grand Lucayan closed, it's mm -hmm. you know it's been it's it's been hard and it's been hard on the entire island. Um, but we we focus on value for a dollar and making sure that our prices are within line with our customers' wants. All right, finally, Noel, just give us any social media information. Are you guys on Facebook? Are you guys on Instagram? <clears throat> yeah, we're on Facebook and Instagram, um, and we also on Google My Business. 
Um, so we, yes, we, uh, for Facebook, it's Agave Lucaya. For Instagram, it's Agave242. Mm -hmm. And then Google My Business is just Agave Lucaya. Now, you are located in Port Lucaya. Yep. Um, if I needed to find you, because this place is like a maze, I, I think, what's the easiest way to direct people once they get here to oh. come to Agave? Okay, well, basically, we're next door to the Zorbas. Okay. Everybody knows where Zorbas is. Zorbas has been here for 28 years, 29 years. Um, and he's also our partner in Agave as well. So next door to Zorbas is Agave. All right, guys. Y'all know what I like to say. This is not a talking show. It's an eating show. And we're going to have some drinks. Stay tuned. You're watching Happy Foods 242. Happy Foods 242 is brought to you by Sunshine Insurance. Coca-Cola. 100 Jam. Hot 91.7. Ronzoni. Milo Vallo, Bahamian Rental, Flying Dutchman, Pompeian, and Shaw. So welcome back. You're still watching Happy Foods 242. We still at Agave and we are now in one of my favorite places which is the bar section of agave and we're here with holly hey and holly is going to make some signature drinks the first one being one of the ones that i like the most every time i come to freeport and i come to agave i get this drink it's called the blue crush, crush margarita, margarita. Yeah. and obviously you all should you all should know me you all should know me by now i mean just because it's blue that's what i want so holly take us through step by step the ingredients for the blue crush margarita. All right. So we're definitely going to need the blender. <laughs> Good. So we're starting off with the ice. That's the main, that's the most important ingredient, eh? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> and we got the blue carousel. Mm -hmm. Makes it your favorite color. It's the best color in the world. <laughs> best color in the world. Your simple syrup. Then your lime, sir. You you would say that one of the, these this is one of the more popular ones. Yeah? Definitely. Okay. And when they watch this video, <laughs> everybody can be like, "This is my drink." Okay. Especially on Tuesdays. Yeah, because that's the two dollar, right? This two. one actually is a four. The but on Tuesdays it's two dollars. Oh, on Tuesdays no, it's four dollars. Yeah, okay. the frozen ones are four. The house one is two dollars. Okay. The regular one on the rocks. All right, I'm gonna this up for you. I'll make sure it's safe for you. Good. Get your margarita glass. Mm. It's a big glass. <laughs> That's just what? Blue sugar or blue sprinkles? Yeah, it's one of my little special touch. Because we know we like to make it sexy, right? Okay, that is very nice. No, I told you you should sit by the bar more often. So I put a little something different in there for you. I was just day. gonna say now, Holly, <laughs> you all know this is a pre-recorded show, right? So it's like seven o'clock in the morning, and I ain't gonna tell you all how early. But Holly ain't even like, I want, nah. Yeah, we gonna wake them up. They sleeping right now. Yeah, that's the shot you want. Don't let it drop now. Wow. Blue crush margarita. Okay, so bring it here. Bring it to me. <laughs> the blue crush margarita. Y'all I gonna take a sip of this one now. I mean she's gonna she's gonna be making some more drinks for us. But I don't want it to melt. Alright, so I'm gonna try my Blue Crush. Woo! <laughs> that 
That's yeah. Woo. <laughs> it's what I remember it being with a extra flair, <laughs> with an extra kick. I think all these hands are a little heavy. Yeah. So Holly, take us into what are we doing? Another we're gonna do another drink. Yeah. So one of the next uh, most popular drinks here, definitely mojitos. Okay. And you know, ladies just have a thing for strawberries. Okay. So, <laughs> so we're gonna, gonna do a, a strawberry mojito. Yeah. So starting off with some lime. Yeah, lemon, some limes. Lime. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> mint. Now, Holly, I'm not, mint. I'm not going to tell you a lie, right? For me, I'm not a mojito fan, but here's huh? why. See all like grass stuff you just put in? Mm -hmm. I don't like to like taste it in my drink, and then some people don't strain it. And that's a small fix, because if you want it strained, it's no problem. Just let them know you want to strain. Okay. After I shake it, I can easily put it in a glass with ice and strain it for you. Okay. Do you want me to do that with this one? Yeah. Okay. Let's let's do that so I can at least taste it. But a lot what of people like a lot of people is just leave it in there and just be like, oh, you supposed to drink yeah. this. Yeah. Season so you get the flavor. The yeah, that's so the, it is true. So we have simple syrup again. Simple syrup. We have mint. Lime. And we have lime. And then yeah, straw strawberries, fresh okay. frozen strawberries. Ice. Now, what drink do you think is more popular, the mojito or the margarita? I think they are in a battle together. Okay. <laughs> I don't. I don't think uh, either has one okay. on the other. They both pretty popular. And I mean, you aren't even measuring. You just. I do this. <laughs> you just go in like she just go in for blood. <laughs> Ah, now see, that I could do. But the stuff with all the lemon, lime, and grass, <laughs> salad, I say salad. They just put salad in the drink. I ain't gonna have a, I wanna eat a salad. I don't wanna drink a salad. <laughs> so top it off with some club soda. Yep. Make it all nice and fizzy. Just wanna garnish it for you. You eat and drink with your eyes, right? So guys, make sure y'all come down here at Agave, especially on Tuesdays. That two dollars, you can't beat that. No. And two happy hours, eleven to two, and then what's the other time? Five to seven. Four to seven. Four to seven every day, every day. Y'all let me every day. All right. So the strawberry. So let me sip. Y'all see, I'm still working on, but I'll sip this strawberry. It's good, That's but you all have to understand, like, I am not necessarily a mojito fan. I like no. margaritas. It, it's very good though, but okay. my preference, like, if you ask me, Sasha, what do you want? Margarita, mojito, margarita. But you like the lime. Yeah, I, I it, think it, I, I have yeah, something for you it, next time you come. It's, it's, <laughs> it, it may win me over. So now guys, the final thing that Holly is insisting she do does for us is a shot. She wants to make us, the team, a special shot. <laughs> Holly, it's still early. This is a pre-recorded show. I'll Just be keep right. that in mind. I want to be able to... I, I we we all from yeah. the Bahamas, right? Yeah, we from the Bahamas. All right, they don't have brand new. <laughs> all right, so what... We're going to start with some even... vodka. We're going to start with some vodka. Okay, house I'm watching what you're doing because I'm trying to... <laughs> start with house vodka. Some might like to call another Holly Surprise. Holly Surprise? Yes. I don't even know if I want to finish with the rest of the ingredients for you. <laughs> I don't need nobody copying this. That just look, I, I, I ain't got, that just look. I have a flight to catch Holly at two o'clock. You gonna be all right, I got you. You don't realize she ain't saying nothing. She just like doing it so that it's a holy surprise. <laughs> holy surprise. That's, that's what you're going to call it. All right. Well, let me prime your shot glasses for you guys.
got a special little topper for you guys. Prosecco. Is that a proper shot glass, Holly, or is it? It is not a proper shot glass. It's definitely a little more than two ounces. <laughs> but then it's not a straight shot. It's mixed it. Some special stuff in there for you, Sasha. But it is <laughs> supposed to be like a horseback or? It's up to you. You can take a sip because it doesn't seem like you're going to do it. Let one of these guys do it with me. <laughs> we are you shed me on my show? A little, Sasha, a little. Oh. Just a little. <laughs> so, okay. Okay, so we're going to do this. Holly, this is called the Holly Special. Yes, so when they come in, the they Holly can Special. ask for the Holly Special. You can name it after you then if you like. Well, we'll call it the Happy Food Two Part Two Special. But hey. I think if, if, that's, if you want to remember that, when you come in and you ask for Holly, tell her, just give you the Holly Special or just tell her, give you the shot that Sasha is going to take like a pro right now. That's all. Yeah. All right, Holly, cheers. Did it hurt? <laughs> I like it. Taste your Prosecco, right? Yeah. So guys, um, yeah, those are the drinks. Y'all make sure y'all come down here, Agave. And, uh, from Jack Holly getting the wide drive party, so that's usually how the show goes. Y'all stay tuned, the food is coming up next. You're watching Happy Foods 2 for... Happy Foods 242 is brought to you by Sunshine Insurance, Coca-Cola, 100 Jam, Hot 91.7, Ranzoni, Milo Butler, Bahami Oriental, Flying Dutchman, Hoppian, and Shaw. Boost Educational Services is a full-service tutoring center offering one-on-one -on -one sessions and small group classes for most standard subjects and grade levels. Are you one of the many parents who becomes frustrated with a daily homework struggle? With so many curriculum changes over the years, you may find that you're not even sure how to help them. Our team of tutors is here to help. We work with students in kindergarten all the way up to college level. We'll guide your child through their academic work so that you have more quality time to spend with them. During our sessions, tutors develop a strong rapport with the child so that he or she feels comfortable tackling problems without fear of making mistakes. We really focus on developing a growth mindset so that children persevere through even the most challenging assignments. You never know what kind of great programs we have on at Boost, so please stay current by checking out our website at boostbahamas.com and sign up for our mailing list. All right, so welcome back. You're still watching Happy Foods 242. We're still at Agave, um, and we're here with the head chef, Danto, and he is going to take us through three of their signature dishes. The first one yes, being... The bang bang shrimp. First one being the bang bang shrimp. Uh, what it is is a um, crispy fried shrimp. It's a taco. Crispy fried shrimp appetizer. Served with uh, sriracha. Sriracha crema sauce. Tenzel, I, I don't sauce. think they told you I don't like spice. Oh, you don't? Oh, oh wow. But we can, yeah. we can try, we can try, we can, we can, luckily, we can. Luckily, yeah, this is the only dish with spice. Okay. Yeah, luckily, so, good on that. We can't do it like mildly. Yeah, we can do it mild. We can do light on the sauce and make it. But then, uh, I'll try and make it mild as I could. Okay. All right, first, we have jumbo okay. shrimps. Okay. 16, 20 jumbo shrimps. We have seasoning right here with a little, um, gave special spices. What all in there? I can't tell you. Okay. If you tell so, me, you gotta <laughs> kill me. Yeah, I, I can tell you some of the stuff. Okay. It's just um, salt, garlic, garlic powder, black pepper, um, a little oregano. It smells very good. Yeah. Okay. So that, that's the far as I'm going with that right Okay, now. no problem, no problem. So I understand. Let's a little bit on that. Okay. We're gonna lose bread. It. It's a basic bread. First, put the shrimp in the flour. Okay. You know, coat that well. 
I'm sure I'll be able to see. I know what I'm doing, right? Gotcha. And then these are probably going to hit a deep fryer, right? Yes. Okay. We're just going to put those on the side for now. We're going to make okay. the mango salsa oh. for that dish. Okay. What we have here, I already cut up the ingredients. Show them. So these are the ingredients. Yes. All the ingredients. We have diced mangoes here, diced red bell peppers, sliced cherry peppers, sliced jalapenos, chiffonade mint, and shredded mint, a little bit of honey, a little bit of sugar. Plenty okay. peppers. A lot of peppers. And hence the, hence the word bang bang shrimp. Bang bang, bang like, shrimp. Yeah, that's like you know, right. spice hits here. Y'all, if I have heartburn, y'all come play him dancing. <laughs> I have to All shout right. out Coca Cola so, and some of our sponsors. Coca Cola is one, Milo Butler is one, so, Hot 91. Double my and we got our olive oh. oil right in the back there. Shout out to Pompeii, and they also came on for this particular show. Okay, so yes, all we're going to do is just combine the ingredients. Okay. Get it. Diced mangoes. I get all the food. All right. Diced red peppers. Mince. A little bit of honey. Nah, you just eyeballing or you, you've already pre-measured everything? Well, I just eyeballing, to yeah. be honest. Okay, this is going to be the topping for the Bang Bang Shrimp and okay. the Red Snapper. Okay. front of you it's a mai tacos okay some mai tacos grilled mai tacos it has a lime crema on top with pineapple salsa a little bell lettuce underneath with flour tortilla that's one of them one of the more popular appetizers especially amongst the tourists okay they look for a lot, a lot of locals you know fresh seafood okay secondly we have here now, the this, this is like you gotta like explain this from top <laughs> to bottom. Okay, first, the bowl. This is actually lava. This is real lava. They, you know, they form the bowl of it. They reserve food. Um, a lot of Latin people, they sorry, they make, they put their um, make guacamole, their salsa. Mm -hmm. You know, they do that inside those bowls. Um, this is a mojihite dish. One of our dishes from when we first started. It has um, the flank steak. Uh, sliced flying steak, mo uh, mojo pork, and uh, serrano ham. Okay, along with onions, bell peppers. It's um, the sauce is chipotle, the house made ch house made chipotle sauce. Okay. Little so how is it like? Am I supposed to like take take this out and then put the stuff in and then eat it? Like how is it supposed to be eaten? It just looks well, it all depends. Um, well, this is one of the dishes you gotta get down and you like you gotta get down and dirty it. You know, you gotta, all right, y'all, you see me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. so, I mean, it has, also has uh, white rice, black beans underneath all that. So, that's just one of our... So, it's a, it's, a, about it's a very, very that's filling that's dish. That's the entree for a person. One person? Yeah. One, one person. person? One person. Yeah. That's it. I thought it was like an appetizer for four to share. No. <laughs> one person. Okay, so okay. let's go through the others. Yes, and here we have the red snapper. Um, here, of course, agave is a Latin bohemian restaurant. So um, we want to put um, something local on the menu. So we went with the red snapper. Okay. Wrong. Yes. Um, y'all saw me make the salsa. I yes, y'all saw me. The... Hire me. <laughs> if I, you know, find myself in a bind. Yes. Oh, she she did a good job. Okay. The, that's served with peas and rice coleslaw, of course. Typical a little lemon bang. butter. Yeah, typical bohemian, bohemian dish. And then our bang bang. Yes, the bang bang shrimp. You say you don't like pepper, so you might want to stay away from this. Bang yeah, bang is a spicy spice, dish. But I can try it, trust All me. right. You know, um, it has the, um, the fried shrimp that you made, that we made together. Shredded cabbage, the mango sauce on top, a little drizzle of sriracha meal, 
over the shrimp. Yeah. And it also comes with uh, two tortillas, so you could actually, because chef puts enough on there, you can actually make two tacos out of it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what to say. I mean, you don't I know don't where to start. Yeah, like I feel like, okay, where should I go? Where should I go? Start with the mahi. Okay, right. so let's start with the mahi. Noel just give us the information again about the restaurant, the hours, the times, so that people can find it on social media as I yeah, start so, to take my bites. So yeah, so we're going to be reminded. We're, we're open seven days a week, Monday, Monday to Sunday, uh, lunch and dinner, 11 a.m. to 10.30 on the weekdays until midnight on weekends. Okay. Social media? Social media, Agave Lucaya on Facebook and Agave Bahamas on Instagram. Where are you located? Fort Lacayo Marketplace, Freeport, Grand Island. And the easiest way to find you guys is that you're located next to... <laughs> next to Zorba's in the Fort Lacayo Marketplace. And if I want to do a private event, I can call you guys. Yeah, what you number? can call us at 374-4887. Uh, we have private. We have a private dining room. Uh, we can hold groups up to 70 people. And we also do outside catering if need be. All right. Anything else you want to add to that? Um, I mean, if you're planning to come to Agave, I mean, it's, we recommend, especially on the weekends, we recommend our reservations because we are one of the busier restaurants on the island. Yeah, I know, so, I make mean, sure you call. Make sure you call. Okay. Get your spot. So, I'm going to try the, the snap bite. It's very flavorful. The mahi, mahi is generally a dry fish. Yeah, but now you're going to put some of that line on that. Squeeze some of the No, but what I'm saying is whatever sauce he has in there, mm -hmm. the cram, I think, right. is not is not dry. Yeah. It's really good. But the lime gives it the rest of that. Okay. It tops the flavor off. Okay. Let me squeeze some up. Y'all forgive me. Y'all see y'all saw what Holly did to me. Y'all saw what Holly did. But this is this this I I definitely like this. I guess it's just pine what is on the top of it? That's a pineapple salsa. Pineapple salsa? Yes. This I'm not going to tackle, but I will try one of the shrimp. I'm going to mm -hmm. tell you, you guys how hot it is. It's, it's not so much the shrimp, it's the, the chili peppers behind it. Yeah. And the sauce, the right? The mm -hmm. sauce. Mm -hmm. Not too spicy. And this too, you got to put some of that lime in the oven on it. It's not overly spicy though. Okay. Is the spice and the sauce as well? Yes, not much, but you really get that bang from the um, cherry peppers that's in there. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Guys, this has been good. Food is good. My drinks are good. And the hospitality was even better than all. The staff, they did themselves, and we as a team were so grateful. And um, you allowed us to come in and showcase. Make sure you guys come down here to Agave. Um, the food is good, the drinks is good, and the ambiance is good. And like I said, they're open late. They're open every day. You have no excuse. Every day they're open. All right, so that's the end of the show. You've just watched another exciting episode of Happy Food. Happy two, two, four, two. two. Happy food.